Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome to Coffee with Jules. Anyways, today's video is basically going to be just a simple chit chat update on my life right now, what's going on, an update on me, and shooting off ideas for the rest of this year. So, as you can see, I have my Christmas mug from Knott's Berry Farm and I am drinking a breakfast breakfast blend with Coffee Mate Peppermint Mocha. So we're all a little Christmassy today. Let me get some. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So as you can see, I have this beautiful Christmas afghan. And the story behind it, actually, is this was the last afghan that my grandma made complete completed the year that she passed away and i was fortunate enough to get it that christmas she passed away in december of 2000 and that's when i got this this is also the afghan that she taught me how to crochet with and so you can definitely see i'm not gonna i don't know maybe i'll show at the end but you can tell which ones are mine and which ones are hers she all i did was these two middle parts and she did literally the rest there's 10 rows this is from the mile a minute one of the mile a minute uh afghans and so she did the other eight middle parts, the variegated color, and then did the trim, trim, border in white, and then the border in red, and then stitched them together in red. So yes, you can definitely tell my mistakes and horrible crocheting <laughs> compared to hers, because she was, she was really good at it. And so this is literally the last thing that she had finished. I had started, she started teaching me in my teens. So I probably made this or started to make this in, um, oh, I don't know, late eighties, early nineties. Well, okay. In 93, I would have been 20. So definitely it was this, I started this in the eighties. This is eighties. There you go. And she finished it, completed it in the year, in 2000. So it had been sitting for a while. <laughs> Gosh, I'm surprised she kept it. And she completed it. And it was supposed to be my Christmas gift, which it was, but she had passed the foot. Unfortunately, she had passed away earlier that December. So I feel very fortunate that she actually completed it and that I have it. There are some holes I need to work on fixing. I'm not sure how to do that. I will definitely look up in YouTube, in YouTube land, how to do that. And uh, yeah, so that's enough about this, but it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite pieces. And mainly because it was the one thing that we did together. And I love, I love the colors. I love Christmas. So there you go. Obviously Halloween is my favorite, but Christmas is right there. Okay. <laughs> my brain is chaotic, so I apologize ahead of time. But I, as you may know, I had a heart cath procedure done on Thursday the 7th. And I... It came, it went, it was done. I, I was fine. The procedure was done. Okay. Everything was good. I do have a 50% blockage in my front artery, which I am are already taking risovastatin for, but they're continuing the risovastatin. Thankfully, I did not have to get a stint put in. They only really do that at 80% and higher. So I'm not there. Hopefully the Rosovastatin will do what it's supposed to do and open up that artery so that it's not blocked. 
and but it is not the reason for my fatigue and they don't know why they don't know why I am always tired and always I like I can't stand for any great amount of time I take a shower and it's literally like a five minute shower and I have to sit after I get out for several minutes before I can even get dressed so I don't know hopefully we will find that information out soon I do know that I need I'm gonna try and start walking every day so that maybe I can build up my strength because I have been sitting for quite a while like as in the last few months and it's only gotten worse my fatigue so hopefully I can turn that around but my aftercare from my procedure was I couldn't drive for 24 hours due to the med medication that they gave me during the procedure which it's been 24 hours so I can drive again and I was not allowed to lift, push, pull, anything that was like 10 pounds or more. And so that was for two days. So that's technically today is the second day. So tomorrow I can go back to normal activities. I also couldn't rotate my wrist. I think I can do it now because the... You can, I'll, I'll show you, but, um, it, it's obviously I was, I had to, I had to keep my bandage on for until yesterday and I took it off yesterday and, uh, I'll pop up a picture of what it looked like when I first took it off, but this is what it's looking like now. I don't know if you can see that very well. But as you can see, I have a bruise that's like starts here and goes all the way down to here. And then I have this funky stripey bruise. And that is from the wrist thing that they put on directly after the procedure to close up the artery and put, you know, put pressure on it. And it was a Velcro strap thing that had this like clear box that was about yay big in a slight rectangle and it had compressed air in it it was full of air and they had it on super tight which is where that stripe is from that was actually the corners or the edges of that box and when I got out of the procedure I had to wait an hour before they could start or at least I did wait an hour before they could start releasing the air from that little box thing and they could only take out the most minuscule amount of air and then come back 10 minutes and take out a little bit more and come back in 10 minutes and take out a little bit more until they finally got all the air out and let's see can you see right there that little dot right there that's where they actually went in. That's the puncture wound. So, but yeah, it's it's actually not too bad. It what's funny is it doesn't hurt at all where the bruise is. It hurts right here. <laughs> so, go figure. Where the bruise is, no pain, but on the side of my wrist, it hurts. Anyways, so I haven't really been doing anything, which is why I haven't really posted a whole lot even including my hello there or hellos I haven't posted I don't even know if I'm gonna post one today today being November 9th which is my mom's birthday by the way she turns a young 78 that's crazy happy birthday mom love you I already called you this morning and saying happy birthday to you but here I'm spreading it to the world happy birthday mom Everybody wish my mom a happy birthday, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I got kind of out of sync with my filming and didn't do my hellos very often. I Here lately, I've been doing it like every other day. I, I 
October, I was doing the moments with Poe and I got lax on that. I just didn't have the energy, I'll be honest. I did not have the energy to do any of it. So that's where I kind of got lax and I got, I, I'm apologizing. I am sorry I didn't get all of the moments with Poe. Maybe I will be able to finish or do an entire month of moments with Poe next October. That being said, going into the rest of this year, I had plans to, since I've already missed the beginning, because we're in November, I've already missed doing for the last eight days a what I'm grateful for, because Thanksgiving is coming up, and I kind of wanted to do a what am I grateful for shorts, so I'm thinking about doing that the week of Thanksgiving. And I do want to get Christmas. I've wanted to do start doing Christmas decorating this weekend, but because of my procedure, I wasn't I'm not able to. So hopefully I can maybe I'll start tomorrow. I don't know. Cuz tomorrow like I said, I can start doing normal activities. So, um I'm going to start doing Christmas here definitely by next weekend because I want Christmas up fully before December so that we have all of December to enjoy our Christmas stuff. Plus, we have Christmas stuff that my mom and John brought down, bought, brought up, not down because they're south of us, we're north of them, so they brought it up. For during my birthday celebration and it's Christmas stuff that was in the little house that we used to live in on their property and so we haven't seen any of that for like 10 years so it's gonna be fun to pull out those those Christmas items let me know I don't know if I've already said this on another video but let me know if you'd like to see an unboxing sort of of all of the Christmas stuff that we haven't seen for 10 years. It'll be interesting, at least to me. And so, yeah, I'm thinking I want to do Christmas decorating for sure next weekend. I might start pulling stuff out here and there during this next week. Uh, I do have to take my mother-in-law to the doctors tomorrow for an ultrasound on her heart and then she has surgery to remove her thyroid her entire all of it on uh thursday so i'm gonna be busy this coming weekend or week uh, but i will try to start working on that kind of stuff getting christmas stuff out I will, of course, do my Reddit videos. As I've already started this week, I did Reddit, Am I the A-Hole? I will continue on with doing other stories. I think I'll do something crochet next week. I don't know, crochet or knit. And then the following week will be crochet or knit. And then the following week will be something else. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll just, it's, it's, I'm going to play it by ear. And then, of course, I'll get into Christmas and it'll or December and the first week of December will be another am I the a-hole and then follow every week sent after that will be other stories like this month and we'll yeah and I think I'm going to do another reddit episode like I did for Halloween and but this time it'll be a Christmas special and it'll be like four categories and then an a knit item and a crochet item in those four categories. I thought that was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed finding all the different things for Halloween. So I'm looking forward to doing something like that for Christmas. I am also wanting to do another 12 days of Christmas shorts like I did last year, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what I, obviously it's gonna be something different. Last year I did ornaments of various things like a granny square Christmas tree and oh I don't know there was a bobble of some kind there was a bell a candy cane a wreath I think I did two different kinds of wreaths I believe 
and I don't remember what else, but I have an idea and let me know. Comment in the, dis uh, in the description box. Leave me a comment below. Would you be interested to do a 12 Days of Christmas based on the actual song? So every day that I lead up to Christmas will have to do with that day's song. So like the first day of Christmas would be a partridge in a pear tree or something to that effect, whether it's a partridge by itself and a pear by itself, but it's going to be something crochet, crochet related. Or if I can find, do something not necessarily crochet related, but still do it using or using the song as the 12 days of Christmas. Let me know. Would you be interested in that or would you be interested in doing seeing me do other stuff that's crochet Christmas crochet related? Oh my goodness, my tongue-tiedness. So that is my ideas for the rest of this year. Obviously, I would like to do, also, I would like to do a holiday shopping, you know, where I go to Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Walmart and check out all of the holiday decorations that they have, at, like I did for uh, Halloween. I didn't do this for Halloween, but I do want to do it for Christmas and maybe next year I'll do it for Halloween too. Drive around town and show all of the city's Christmas displays, you know, different, you know, the whether it's downtown and the city did it or people in the city, their houses, all the Christmas displays. I should have done it for Halloween. I don't know why I didn't. We just didn't do it. But I will definitely do it next year because there were some pretty cool houses that were decorated. One had a giant spider. Oh my goodness. And, and I mean, it was a giant spider. So I want to do that for Christmas. And let's see what else. I, you know, I don't know. I have some other ideas, I think, <laughs> uh, that I can't think of right now at the moment. But if you've got any suggestions, I would love to hear what would you like to see during Christmas, during December? Oh, obviously I am going to do an end of the year re uh, recap of the year video. I love doing those because it's fun seeing all the different things that I did throughout the year. So I'm probably going to do something like that this year. And what else? I don't know. There's, there's a lot I can do. And so... If you have any ideas, I would love to hear from you and maybe I will include them in the next, until the new year. <laughs> My brain, <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button and if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. I hope you have a really great day and a really great evening and a really great next tomorrow, whatever. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys. <laughs>